guys, Crew Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And we are back with Andor! Last time on Andor, we had the eye of Aldani open up into the sky. We had a heist and like everyone died. Went right through it. Almost. Who lived? Just Val. Cassian and Val. That's it, and, right? Yeah. Well, and her girlfriend. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Cinta uh, uh, just walked out the front door. We don't know where Cinta. she is, right? Yeah. Well, um, she's still apparently on Aldani. Mm-hmm. She's probably walking to a spaceport to get off planet. Yeah. What's his name survived the heist? Skeen. And Skeen? then Skeen. he didn't survive the, the after heist. <laughs> he I mean, didn't. He, <laughs> he, he suffered a mortal wound. I would say he didn't survive. <laughs> From that the heist. Did. He got shot on the way out. <laughs> yeah. Like... Like in Thor, like you survive the battle, you're gonna live. Mm. But he didn't. <laughs> he did not. <laughs> um, and then we lost uh, Nimic from his crush injury, which yeah. sucks. He was I crushed like under money. But he gave his uh, memoir. Is that what it was his, called? Mephesto. Um, uh, M- Mephesto. Man. Mephesto. <laughs> he, there it is. He finally showed up. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be some shit. The Aladdin. His manifesto was like a portal to Mephesto. <laughs> Uh, we had a poll last time, too. Are we going to see the Gorman invasion in Andor? Mm-hmm. Or I, I, I probably put invasion and meant massacre, but my bad. Um, 33% say? No. No. Everybody else says yes. Yes. I wonder how like terrible it will be. I don't know. Uh, Fetty Crotch says, I mean, they're clearly setting it up, right? They're mentioning it a lot, right? Yeah. Eli Mon said Mothma. Eli said it would be crazy to see a Star Destroyer land on civilians. I think you get to that in season two, right? Maybe, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Depends uh, how... Go ahead. Jordan agrees. I think we might. My guess is that if we do, it'll be season two. <laughs> what are you going to say, Calvin? Depends on what? I was going to say it depends how like long that was before Yavin. I feel like it needs to be the like a big turning point for Mon Mothma. Which I feel like it was much later in Rebels when she was like escaping and the Rebels saved her, right? Like the ghost like, sure. used her, like, escaped, like got her out of there. So like, I feel like you do that towards season two somewhere, and then maybe mm-hmm. you bring in like Hera and some ghost shit. You know, that'd be cool. Shawnee McBucket says, "I think we will definitely see it in the episode of Rebels: Secret Cargo that uh, they rescue Mon Mothma." She mentions the Gorman massacre being the reason she is leaving the Senate, and that the survivors of the massacre joined Saw Gerrera's cell. Mm. Uh, Matthew Cronin found the poll at a very special time and said, "I made it sixty-nine percent." Oh, nice. Spencer says, "I am sixty-nine percent sure we will see it." There was a lot of people that were very happy at the time, but someone came in and ruined it. They kept voting yeah. that. People <laughs> yeah. just kept voting like, "Ah, we just." I want to be sixty-nine. They messed it up. <laughs> Uh, and then we'll end with Robert English, who says, unless Andor or the Rebellion appear at the invasion, I think it will happen off screen. So it might happen to Mon Mothma, but we might not see it happen. Sure. But with her being one of our points of view, I think that it could still happen. Yeah. I we guess. just haven't gotten much from her. I could see Disney doing that, where it's like, yeah. we're not going to show, show yeah. that, but we are definitely like nodding towards it occurred. Gotcha. You know? Yeah. Um, there was one thing I wanted to bring up before we get started, and the one reason I I really do is because I thought, like, well, when we watched this early, we told other people, hey, it might be one of those things where, like, you might have a difficult time going episode to episode if you didn't know this was kind of, like, in an arc format. Like, we ha- we've had two arcs so far. Uh, they, The director, uh, the showrunner, Gilroy, came out and said, this episode is meant to be more of a standalone, and then we finish with the, everything else will be an arc. Or uh, the next Dang. two episodes will be an arc. So there's not going to be a three arc time this time. There's going to be episode seven, which is more standalone, and then the next two are going to be their own thing. The next two? Yeah. Okay. Uh, not the rest of them. Man, episodes. I thought it was like, man, the last half no, no, is I'm all sorry. one arc? That's crazy. No, I, I misspoke. But this episode is meant to be more of a standalone episode. Okay. So I just thought, like, well, because I thought it was beneficial for other people to know that about the first couple episodes, why don't we know about it about this one, too? Gotcha. So. I was thinking that because they're mostly all three-episode arcs, mm-hmm. that means that the the season break is going to be a cliffhanger. Yeah. I thought you were in Hello, Tells the Jedi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, before we get started, we want to talk to you about Badonka Gonk. Okay, what is Badonka Gonk? Badonka Gonk is our Star Wars podcast that we have Badonka. once a Badonka. month. <gasps> Say it again. Badonka Gonk. Say it like roll out. Badonka Gonk! Jesus, you'll never forget it now when you. Tomorrow! 
Join us live, twitch.tv slash blindwave for Badonka Gum. Badonka Gum. We'll be talking about Into the Dark, a High Republic book, and some other things pertaining to Jedi, maybe some Sith. The collar. What about it? It's high. You've had it raised. I had it tailored. Everything says something, Cyril. I've tried to make you understand that. You resist. What's wrong with this high collar? Look at me. <clears throat> I don't believe in myself. I am desperate for approval. What? I think it's cool. No, love like, him, but I like the collar. If you wore turtlenecks, I don't think that's what they're saying. You know? What happened? Bravo. Look at me. They attacked the garrison so regretted. Hit him for approval, Eric. I'm like, gonna give it to you. Dude, we're actually seeing a holonet broadcast. That's crazy. We know better. The high cop. We know the real shock will be when they discover yeah, how has it, huh? ready and eager we are to respond. To be prepared. Is it meant to be you, Lauren? The use of any local custom, festival, or tradition as cover for rebel activity will trigger permanent revocation uh, yeah, of looks, imperial looks like tolerance. You think? Yeah. And he's the highest ranking member. He's the colonel of the ISB. I'll be right back. Man, her outfit is Tara so cool. likes it. I'm just not sure he loves it. Oh, she like, loves want the other one. Every time we come here, I want to see what new things right, there's. There's a Zonai there. dragon from Zelda. There's what? a. <laughs> I warned you before we started. You told me we were building a network. What were my words? This is something else mm -hmm. entirely. Turning back will be impossible. You knew where this was going. Mm -hmm. You've always known. It's the Udapalan thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Has anyone ever made a weapon that wasn't used? I knew an old saw blade, you know? You realize what you set in motion? It was time for that as well. Palpatine won't hesitate now. Exactly. <laughs> we need it. We need the fear. It'll stir more rebellion. Yeah. The Empire has been choking us so slowly we're starting not to notice. Uh, mm -hmm. Time has come to force their hand. Mm. There's a temple guard oh, mask yeah, back yeah, there. Is that? I'm afraid I won't be taking either of these pieces this morning. <laughs> I have some new things coming in very, very soon. I'll be sure to come by. Always at your service, Senator. There's like Mon Mothma and Saw Gerrera, and he's in the middle. Yeah. Which there think? was a Gungan shield. Was it? Right? Yeah. Like the, I'd love and hate scenes in here, because I love everything that happens, but I keep getting distracted. Yeah, I know. I saw something, and I was like, no, I'm not going to say anything right now. I died forever. Both kind of right, both kind of wrong. I love it. Well, like, she doesn't want people one. to suffer. No. You know? But it's admirable. I, I like what he's saying about, like, they're slowly choking us and we're not realizing it. But if they just start choking us yeah. suddenly, we'll realize it more. He can know? make the Empire show everyone what they're really like. There are no small jobs at the Bureau of Standards. This place is huge. Why don't we start that process now? Probably best for everyone to just edit this a bit before signing you in. I'm sure your uncle would approve. Okay. Press starting. Kick it. New beginnings. We just. So worried. Happened to have Kick an immediate it. opening in. What? It's innocent. Oh, that's what Terry Silver's wife was, too. No, she was up to something. Whoa, look at those droids. Are they droids? For a second, I thought they were helmets, but yeah, I don't. They're that's moving weird. with their whole body. That's weird. Who's, wait, who's that? Is that a. Uh, Where are we Bell? at the spaceport? Is it Bix? I don't know who this is. I don't think it's Bix. That's a cool shot. I like all these shots are great. I like seeing this mm -hmm. underneath Coruscant like a little bit. It never felt more real. <clears throat> like, these are just oh. At ease, <laughs> yes, sir, <laughs> ma'am, sir. Ah, sweet. I was worried we'd never see her again. Whoa. What's she gonna do with this? It's a little vehicle. Ah, uh, ships flying over that she can. Nope, nope. Uh, this is what happens. That's be scared. Right? Mm -hmm. It's so big. It looks huge. Oh. Where is he? 
The money's safe. We know. It's been moved already. You've done exceptions. That's his assistant. assistant. Man, she's it's the troller. Long hair looks totally different on her. She looks really different too. I feel like. Yeah, I she love does. Love that mic. It's so like you can match put together. It looks so difficult to ride. <laughs> so what is she supposed to be doing? I don't know. Uh, covering up more tracks, I guess. I don't know. There's so many moving parts. Let's go the hood. Oh, we're back back home? Yep. What? No. What are you doing, Why buddy? would you come back I here? No, let's go the hood. Someone turned me in. You don't know? No, what? To the gym. What? Tim Cardo turned you in. No point in stewing over it. He's dead now. Fucking Tim. Right. The Imperials are here to stay. They're not going away this time. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? Use his money to get her off. We're getting out of here. Mm-hmm. We're leaving. You get a rest. I'll check up on Biggs. And we'll pull out first thing in the morning. All right? But the first thing... I love that little droid. Yeah. I want to protect him so much. Yeah. I have a weird feeling. I, her outfits are amazing. Why can't I wear that? I think it's bullshit. I can't. You can. You have a hairy back, Eric. What the hell was that? I need your help. Shave me. And drill a TikTok. <laughs> I'm spent a great deal of time thinking about this conversation, Tay. I want to tell you something that only three people in the galaxy... So Tay is who she wants to bring in? Oh. I wonder if I should trust him. Why would you want to do that? Because I need your help. I'm not sure you're aware how far afield some of us have taken our political allegiances these days. Sorry, I think I've had a bit too much of Perry's MC Punch. <laughs> Drink up. <laughs> you think he's fishing or he's genuine? I don't, I don't know. know. He's keeping an eye on her. I don't know what we're talking about. It's a lie. The Mon Mothma people think they know. It's a lie. It's a projection. It's a front. Smile. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> She's definitely learned from Luke. Mm-hmm. I've learned from Palpatine. From Palpatine, fuck! <laughs> I show you the stone in my hand, you missed the knife at your throat? That's such a good line. I've explored the alternatives. You're my best shot. You haven't answered my question. And I won't. You're better off not knowing. Or perhaps you find my politics a bit strong for your taste. Hands <laughs> uh, on his way over. That's good. He knows none of this. He's not to be trusted. <laughs> Don't trust yeah. my husband. I hope we can trust this guy. I think that if she does, it's more likely. She's a very, she's very good. She's at this. very careful. Sure. Yeah. But I'm also a dummy. Oh, this is not our fight, Cass. Flashback. Don't worry. And they won't be long. They're just gonna raise their silly flag. Clones. Don't move. Stay here. Are we gonna see how he dies? He was hung in the square, right? Ready! Oh! Did he get blamed for the rock throwing? Probably. When he was trying to calm them down? You haven't done much packing. She says we can't go. Be quiet. What is this? I'm not going. What are you talking about? I'm staying. But it's it's not safe. You want to live under that? It's happening everywhere. True. Well, we'll find a place they haven't ruined yet. Not gonna get away from it. That place is in my head. They can build as many barracks as they like. They'll never find me. For 13 years, every time I walk down Rick's Road, I turn off before I get to the square. I take the long way around, so I don't have to think about Clem hanging there. Oh, man, I don't want to see it. Yeah, yeah, the, the guy is on the Valvani. 
I heard that. I put on my best coat and I walked across the square with a smile on my face. He <laughs> He did, yeah. I don't expect you to understand. Wow. <laughs> I don't expect you to understand. That's what you can do, Cassian. Take all the money you found and go and find some peace. I won't have peace. I'll be worrying about you all the time. That's just love. Nothing you can do about that. Stop searching for your sister. It's a fantasy. Hmm. I love her. She ain't got there to start shooting stormtroopers. <laughs> She'll be ready when they're going, when they're when they say. I believe our sector protocols, as described in the ISB Code of Conduct, are being violated by Supervisor Miro, and that this overreach, for which she was previously reprimanded, risks compromising Imperial safety to a degree that silence is no longer possible. <laughs> Did he say anything? I'd like to know if anyone here believes the Rebellion plans its actions around the artificially constructed boundaries of our sectors. Major Partagas created those sectors. As organizing principles, not personal playthings, do you really think the rebels care about the lines we draw on maps? You think the relevance of my work has been supplanted? Systems either change or die. Thesis, please. <laughs> I, like, I kind of like this guy. Yeah. By accessing unfiltered sector crime reports, I can now prove a link between the theft of our most secret equipment and its distribution to rebel groups across the galaxy. This is hard, verifiable data you are prepared to present. Yes, sir. Okay. Imagine if everyone in this room played as loose with the rules as you. An excellent suggestion, Blevin. <laughs> I'm wondering where we'd be right now if everyone here showed the same endeavor as Supervisor Mira. If everyone was as... Oh, I have to think about that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. For the moment, I'm reassigning the Molana sector to Supervisor Mira. Oh, shit! Mira. Ferex is of great interest to... We took your shit! <laughs> Thank you all for the lively session. Dedra, if you'd walk with me a moment. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like I want to root with her, even though she's Empire, but I like seeing this side of things, you know? Sure. Because she's an underdog. Yeah, but it's not a lot of the times we see in, like, ah, I understand they are, yep. they feel like they're in the right. Well played. Well played. Thank you, sir. Watch your back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're yep. too good. Because the Empire sucks, and they'll stab you in the back. I want to go here. Looks awesome. Look at the steps. Dude, this is where people go for like spring break. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's I love that guy. great. <laughs> what are these guys doing? Free runners. Parkour. Parkour. Yeah, I had nothing to do with it. I think they're stealing shit. They're running from. Uh, they're running from a short trooper. No I running by the wait wall. Wait for you here if you want. For us years. What? You heard me. Oh, K2! But is it K2? It's gotta be. You got that right. That oh, one does shit. Yeah, I love it. Oh, shit! No, he... He meant to watch. <clears throat> no, no, he means watch. <laughs> Tell him! Tell him you mean watch! I hate the Empire. <laughs> Here. I think Cassian's gonna be going back in. We got enough trouble without a resisting judgment charge. Resisting judgment? This used to be a six month sentence. It used to be, what's that Six mean? years. Six years? Jesus. I didn't do anything. Hey, take it up with the Emperor. Oh Wait. my God. I'm just a tourist. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Dude, there wasn't even like a judicial anything. It's just fascist there. Why is there a judge at all? It's not a judge. <laughs> no. She didn't even decide the sentence. She's like, ah, it used to be this. Well, all right, too late. Well, at least he already knows what it's like to be in that person. So what does Bureau of Standards do? Like, can they see like a mugshot of him? Like, will that guy see I that? I don't know. It's like he's in his own prison though. Well, shit. Damn, man. He went to jail for vacationing. 
Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, they said that they were going to be cracking down hard on everything in response to this, you know, so... Even if it were tangentially related to yeah. harming the Empire. Sure. I mean, Marva's right. Like, there's nowhere you can go. No. I no. loved every scene in this. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Did you hear that first noise? I was afraid Calum's just going to explode one of these times he sneezes, because I'm worried about your chest. I need to start <laughs> going chew when he does it. And I go, chew! <laughs> it's like you transfer to me. <laughs> Uh, Man. I loved every scene. I loved Marva and Cassian. I loved the ISB scene. The ISB uh, stuff so I like because, I, I don't know, it's neat to be in Erdogan with, is. like, um, what's her name? Her name is Dedra Miro. Dedra, Dedra and yeah. Cyril. Cyril? Cyril Karn, yeah. Like, I feel like they both feel like they're doing the right thing. Yeah. And I want to see that more from the Imperial side of things. Sure, yeah. Because we don't get that a lot, you know? Yeah, I think the vast majority of Imperials think they're probably doing the right thing. Right? I mean, they, they just get... They, every, you get swept up and shit, right? I, I mean, I'm so, sure. But yeah. I feel like a lot of times you don't see that. You just see, yeah. like, the Stormtrooper here being like, Hold up there! What are yeah. you doing, you know? No, and that shoot, guy was... Jawas who were trying to run. Yeah, that guy, He it, it felt like the worst... Like, if you go on YouTube and look up, like, bad cop encounters, that that felt like those. It felt really real in yeah. some regard. No, yeah, I agree. As opposed to a, a normal, like, hey, who goes there? Like, you know? This guy's just walking. Sure, there yeah. was, like, I guess some runners of some kind of crime. Like, I don't know what they were doing. Yeah. Sure. I mean, but it's it, exactly they're probably I was doing like, nothing. They just got chased. It's exactly why I was like, don't run, don't run. And he kind of hurried up the steps. I'm like, don't run. Yeah. Don't look suspicious. He just got, sit he got down. caught just for looking around. He should have sat down and just enjoyed the beach, watch everyone run by him, you know? And it was such a cool beach. I want to go. Put that in Galaxy's Edge, you know? Galaxy's Edge, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, name me a galaxy's edge near the ocean at all? Me and Moss. Yeah. I mean, it's in no. California, but like if you had it like a spot. No. 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 It's in, uh, it's in Anaheim. Anaheim. Oh, well, then. Well, I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> Disney World has like the Polynesian Resort. That's where we stayed when I was in fourth grade. And it was like a fake beach. I mean, you can make fake beaches Orlando. and stuff, right? Yeah. I went to a beach that was in like Nebraska once. Weird. I mean, I guess, but it wasn't like the ocean. No, that you went to Nebraska. Well, we went to Wyoming. <laughs> We're going to Wyoming. I'm sorry for every wave rider that's in Nebraska. All three of you. Yeah, your drivers are murderous. I don't understand that. Well, someone tried to kill Calvin. He killed him back in Nebraska. You hear that story? He was more murdered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Brewer of Standards. Yes. What do they do? I don't know. Like, um, they mentioned about, like, just kind of uh, going over... Weights regular. and measures. Well, yeah. Gauges. So he probably it's, just, like... It's like what the the um, county clerk does yeah. for, like, all the gas stations around. He gotcha. makes sure, like, he has a little measure thingy. He measures out, like, one ounce from the gas pump, and that's an ounce. Okay, it's intolerance. <laughs> and he marks down that, you yeah. know, this machine is intolerance. It's just it's boring like that. work. Yeah. Boring Kinda shit work. Terrible. It's just verifying I would that say this what, is what someone else said was accurate yeah. is accurate sure. and logging it or mm. something like that, you know? But I was wondering if there was going to be something with this because to that one guy, he was like, here's what happened. Yep. Here's why I'm here and I want to clear my name yeah. and, and fix this. And, and the like, guys... Let's see if we can do that. And I was well, like... Well, let's get that process started now. I, I kind of like, took so that... You just drag, click, you know, delete, control X. <laughs> you know what I, I kind of took that as he's going to be like, all right, well, we'll get started with doing that now. Let's get rid of this shit so I don't have to think about it. I don't sure. care. <laughs> you know, that's kind of how I took it. Let's remove this off of your resume. Yeah. Yeah. These people didn't fire you. <laughs> so, like, clear his name is literally just like... We'll just forget all that. Past. Like we need you to just be a worker, not a guy with an identity. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what it seems second. like. Yeah, that's. that's and with any bad. influence that his uncle had, that might have pushed that a bit further too. I don't know. We still don't know who his uncle is. Yeah, what was it Uncle Haro or something? Like uh, that? Harlow. Harlow. Harlow Yularen does not <laughs> ring well. It is. It's not that. <laughs> but yeah, like. For a second, I was looking away and I looked back and I thought I saw Yalaran as a subtitle. So it was definitely okay. Yeah. No. Oh. I just miss. Is that the why voice. you started pointing? Yeah. I thought you were pointing at like her. I waited a bit. I thought you were doing like a this bitch thing, and I'm like, no. I don't, what's he doing? <laughs> and then you were like this, and I'm like, she's really a bitch. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what's going. I, like on. I waited a bit, and Eric was like, well, no, sorry, he was like, like that. Yeah. Because the ear thing. 
And I was well, like, I was like, well, who's gonna be the the, the head of ISB? Yeah. And I thought I saw you, Lauren. I'm like, motherfucker, they're doing it. Uh, and for those, I know that we kind of get wrapped up into Star Wars. Real sure. deep. So and who is Yularen? Yeah, right? yeah. Yularen was uh, an Colonel admiral yeah. in the Clone Wars, and then you'll see let her see him as Colonel Yularen in Episode Four, uh, A New from, Hope from 1977's movie. Though I don't think I don't think they named him, but he's no, he's, he's there briefly. Yeah. White hair, white mustache, yep. sitting at the council when Darth Vader starts choking that one guy. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Finds your lack of faith yeah. disturbing that whole moment. And he also but, appears in Star Wars Rebels as an ISB agent. Yeah. Yes. There, so. Voice so. voiced by. Uh, Tom Kane. Tom Kane. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. so. No, I was wondering, like, if we got a Yularen, I'm like, what would he sound like? And then the voice, I'm like, I mean, I don't hear what I want to hear, you know? But what are you going to do? You really, there's nothing you can do. No. Well, you're just never going to have the, an iconic character like that again? Yeah, you know? I know. So That's I like it. I, I, I don't know. know what you do or how you do it. The only thing I think of is, like, you do, like, uh, what was it? Was it Darth Maul, right? You do, like, Darth Maul. Sure. Like, he had a few words, you redubbed over him, right? Yeah. Yeah, but we don't have that voice. Anymore. Yeah, yeah Tom Kane can't do it. I mean, if he would be okay with it, you do like James Earl Jones, right? And you do the digital yeah. way, I suppose. You I imagine someone sound. like Tom. I don't know Kane. if I have a library to do that though. Sure. Well, and also like you know, to be able to do that, the person has to agree, right? James but, Earl, yeah, James Earl Jones has agreed, but yeah, a voice actor like Tom Kane might not. Maybe because a lot know. of people were afraid for their jobs when it comes to that. Sure, sure. Because then you do that, and then like, do you sell it to everybody? And then yeah. they just use his voice all the time, and mm-hmm. now you get the point of like. Well, we want to do a movie, and we want an actor. We're going to use yeah. James Dean rather than using any current actors. Mm-hmm. And we just keep making movies of people who have yeah. moved on and passed yeah. and stuff. So no, I get you. It just for me, I think I think of like when the franchise is going on. Like he never talked in A New Hope. Yeah. So the only voice I know for Admiral Yularen is Tom Kane. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know. So, so it's just a weird thing to hear that voice differently, and it's kind of like with Darth Vader, right? Like sometimes you get someone who does a Darth Vader, and it's like, well, it's similar. But he needs to be kind yeah. of Darth Vadery and whatnot. It, it, it's the difference, and I can respect the, a decision like this too, just because I love Tom Kane's way of doing the character. Like, if you're gonna have someone else do it, it's so hard to have it sound like you, but not sound like an impression. Mm. Darth Vader stuff always sounds like an impression, but when it's James Earl Jones, it sounds like Darth Vader. You know, does that make sense? I guess, yeah. I don't, I don't know if that really quite makes sense, but I like during the Obi Wan show, every time Vader spoke, I was like, "Oh my god, new Vader stuff." But whenever we would get that in something like you know a video game or something, I would be like, "Ah, oh, that guy sounds like Darth Vader. This is good." Yeah. But I, it just wouldn't hit a certain level for me. Right? Sure. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I, Yularen is not necessarily as much as Tom Kane's amazing. He's not like the most iconic of voices other than that he sounds like the narrator of Clone Wars <laughs> the typical person I don't think is gonna yeah. realize anything yeah. really I remember just being at home uh, it was around the time Clone Wars was airing but I think I was watching the Oscars with my mom and like it starts so it's like welcome to the 75th Academy Awards and I'm like motherfucker that's you Lauren <laughs> Tom Kane does <laughs> Yoda <laughs> yeah, yeah Tom Kane does, did the Oscars that was great Okay. Um, the Mon Mothma stuff I thought was really good. I really want, I really want the Mon Mothma stuff. Like, yeah. I want to get more Andor too. Yeah, of because course. Because I don't know a lot about him. We only had him in one movie. Yeah. But Mon Mothma, we never really got much of anything. This was my anywhere, favorite. Of you know, her in, in both scenes. Yeah. So yeah. like getting this, I like, I like, I really like the line where she's like, "I've learned from Palpatine." Uh-huh. Like, oh. Because you were like, oh, "I've learned from Luthen," but then she said that, and I'm like, "Oh, yeah. that's so much well, better." I just, like, I, I love this the first scene in the antique store where Luthen is like, anyway, you know, like he's acting like the person for the chauffeur, but he's still speaking down like this. You sure, know? <laughs> it was so yeah. good. The the door shut, and it's like, well, of course I did it. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> you how, could you, how could you think of that of me? <laughs> you know, like, I just he's love like, it. here, look at this great <laughs> thing here, but it's really being like. They ever make a weapon never intend to use. Yeah, he's so good, but so I immediately connected that there, but Palpatine's even better. Because I, it's exactly what he does. I love the idea of like, I show you the stone, but you don't see the knife to your neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, like, I feel like I was doing a little bit of like meta watching. You know, sometimes you watch stuff like, no, nope, no, nope, I see what's happening here. He's gonna fuck with her and he's gonna betray her. But halfway through, I was like, I'm underestimating Mon Mothma. I don't know if I should. She is well, the rebellion leader. We know she's being careful, right? Like yeah. it, to have the line of like, "I'm going to tell you something that only three people in the galaxy mm-hmm. know." Like, th- she's keeping this very close to the chest. Yeah. You know, like I'm only going to tell people that I really feel comfortable that I can trust with yeah. this. 
And this guy's like, I, I do like him talking. He's like, well, you may want to hesitate. I was like, yeah. Why is he saying this? And he's like, I don't know about our political beliefs. Believe you know, and he just, but he believes what she what she has pushed yeah. out as being the belief, right? I don't <laughs> one. I don't think a spy would go that route. I understand why they might because it would make them seem really good, but I just don't know if they would. And two, I mean, she's already like everybody. I go to the bank and there's somebody new, but they mentioned this guy's a banker. Yeah. So she would be well, on edge. He runs the uh, Colma Banking or something like that. Well, right? Chandrilla. I think. Like he's like a big. Part of that or whatever, yeah. Because she said about something about that to her daughter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, is is his bank on Chandrilla? I thought or are so. Are you talking but, about her? Uh, uh, that, that was I mean, at the very benefit. least, they're yeah, both, they're both from the same planet because they talked about going to school together. Yeah. Uh, being raised together, like they they throw them as childhood friends, or something. Maybe they're high school. Maybe it's college. I don't know. I might be wrong, but I I assume I assume too much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they are friends, <laughs> though. Yes. They are, I assume they're friends. I hope. I, we can trust them because I think that Luthen isn't 100 percent right, and she's not 100 percent right. They both have strengths they got to use to come together. Sure, right? mm-hmm. like each of them is not going to succeed. That's the whole point of the Rebel Alliance. Sure, like Luthen is vicious and calculating, yeah. where I think she is cautious. Yeah, and she's secretive. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I think you do need both, right? Because yeah. what she's going for is she's trying to gather people and help people mm-hmm. and bring them together against what the emperor is doing, right? Yeah. Like, she's looking yeah. at a senator's standpoint, right? And in order for us to... While having a public image that says that, eh, she's harmless. Sure. So, like, in order for us to get enough people together to overthrow the emperor, like, that's kind of the route she's going. But then Luthen's like, but people need to not... They need Right now, they don't realize they're slowly being choked. Yeah. And if we put the pressure on them really hard all of a sudden, yeah. people are going to be like, I'm not for this, and this is... I don't want it. And, and, th- and that will cause more people to go to Mon Mothma's side of things. Well, yeah, it's exactly what happened to Marva. Sure. Marva is a rebel waiting to be activated in a I, way. Right? I loved her talking about, like, I walked through that, that square smiling. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And yeah. it's because of Andor, too. It's because of him. <laughs> and it's not a, it's not who you are. It's what you can do. All right? That's what's so good. That's that's Cassian to a T in Rogue One. He He kind of resents who he is. But he can go do something. When she said, like, at this moment, I can go out there and I can I can defy and I can rebel and I can be sure that I'm doing the right thing. And he will feel that when the Rebel Alliance itself says, we are not going to Scarif, we're not doing this. And he goes and he gets his most cutthroat dudes that need this to work. And they go take care of it, you know? That's what I love about him. And I just love being able to learn more about him. No, yeah, I do too. And see him take a shower. He didn't take a shower. He didn't. He touched. He had no. <laughs> he like showered his hand. That's like washing your hand. I love watching him wash his hands. He didn't even rub them together. No. He didn't even soap them. And anything. all of his credits are above that shower. I mean, maybe no one looks up there. Yeah, know, I mean, you go find Scrooge McDuck takes a bath and coins. He takes a shower. No, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying he's in jail for six years and all his shit yeah. is up there. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I do remember from the trailer be- there being some type of like prison thing where he was like wearing all white. I kind of forgot about that until just was like, oh yeah, yeah, he's going to jail. <laughs> yeah, remember. the really cool catwalks and people walking in lines and stuff. Hmm. Which I guess when we learned that he was already in jail, maybe I thought, well, maybe we'll get like a flashback or something. But nope. I mean, we might. We, still we had flashbacks this episode. Sure. Yeah. Clone was that him walking through the snow after those troopers? I would say so. I, I would. Because there was the hanging, so. and I figured yeah. it was after his dad's death. It's like he was going to beat something. Yeah, the stormtroopers. Yeah. yeah. The clone troopers. And that's probably where he went to jail yeah, the first time. That is so... St- it's exactly like Andor right here, right? He went out there trying to stop these guys, and they threw rocks and hit them, and then they looked at him and said, oh, he's part of the problem, too. Andor just walking away from this, sh- these shenanigans occurring or whatever, and they're like, hey, he's part of the problem too. He's like, he says he's not. He's lying. He's like, what? You have no proof of anything. Yeah. And they strung him up like the Inquisitor strung up that Jedi on Tatooine. Yeah. I mean, he did shit against the Empire. So, like, I understand arresting him. Sure. But they're not arresting him for that. They're arresting him for nothing. Mm-hmm. And the, the charges they had that went from six months to six years? They don't give a shit. Could you imagine, like, a traffic violation where, like, you're supposed to be in jail, like, you can either pay this fine or you're in jail for, like, 30 days or something, right? Like, that yeah. happens sometimes. Could you imagine, like, well, now you're in jail for two years. I mean, <laughs> Luthen has played them so hard because his line about how they are, you know, they're ch- choking us so slowly we don't even notice. Mm. 
but people are going to notice this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the prisons are going to be overflowing pretty soon. Yeah. They're going to have... You feel like that would just cost them more, though, right? Like, push out fines rather than prison, I suppose. Well... Right? I mean, I mean they're, they're doing have... that anyway. They're saying, like, five times what we lost on on this planet, we're going to charge to any system who yeah. has any affiliation sure. with rebel were, activity, right? They were increasing all fines and taxes or something yeah. like that. and right? they were increasing the taxes anyway to cover the loss. And prisons are going to be a fantastic way to integrate with their slave labor. Sure, that's true too, because yeah. we... They're going to make uh, money back. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. In Rogue One, right, Jen was like sent out on her little yep. bus thing and they did whatever work and then they sent yeah. her back to the little cages and stuff and uh, I think even the, the one book we read kind of covered some of the like labor stuff that they had sure. to do, right? So, oh yeah, sure. Yeah. The, I guess that's true. Every they, chapter they would say <laughs> they'll make they'll make money on that uh -huh. kind of stuff, but but yeah, we did cover what was it? Rebel Rising on Badonka Gonk last time. Badonka Gonk. Badonka Gonk. Uh, we, we need our Gonk to do that. He went Gonk 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 Gonk. We definitely need to do that. Uh, I want to look up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've heard of a vizier before. So when you were talking, are you thinking of like? Uh, was it Malcolm McDowell in Rebels? Like those kind of people? Yeah. Um, do you remember him? He was the mural guy. He was like studying yeah. that mural at the end of Rebels. He There's, wasn't a vizier. He was uh, something else. What was he? I don't remember what the name was. But I don't know if you're thinking of like those kind of people because there's one of those in episode six. Mm. He wasn't a prefect. Okay, I'm actually... So, when I was studying Star Wars for a trivia contest, I would like every once in a while like kind of like hit upon some uh, legends. Not legends, but some... Uh, like canon things that we haven't done yet on Badonka Gonk, but I kind of need to know them, you know? So when I was looking up Masa Amada, he is known as the Grand Vizier. Masa so, Amada? Yeah, Which so one's the he? blue guy with the horns on the sides from of, okay. the prequels. Okay. What's the other one? Um, <laughs> Sly Moore. What, what are they? Are they not a Grand Vizier? Maybe they're just regular Viziers. They're like a... <laughs> <laughs> no, but Masa Amada was always... He was the guy, silence! Yeah. In the, you know, in the uh, Senate chambers. Like, so. what's below a Grand uh, I don't know. Like whatever Minty. that is, Vizier. <laughs> Minty. No, it's a, it's a tall. That's <laughs> below a grand. Minty. <laughs> a tall. Minty is bigger. I know. That's, For some reason, it's dumb. Are you, it is. Are you doing Starbucks I'm again? talking about Starbucks again. Jancy asked me what size I wanted, and I looked at it. I was like, oh, Venti sounds good. She's like, okay. And they gave me this giant thing. I'm like, I wanted it small. She's like, no, Venti's the big. I'm like, it sounds small. Venti. Yeah. And the Minty. tall is Where the Minty? small. And the grande is the medium. And they're all different languages. The grande sounds like it should be big. Grand, grand, you know. Yeah, and a venti just means 20. What does 20 mean? 20, 20 mean. ounces. Sure. Had, uh, what does grand mean? Thousand. What does tall mean? They, It's two larges and a big. <laughs> He's right. No, we also had uh, Vel here who has been giving an assassination mission. To for kill Andor. Cassian. You know what? It's going to be hard breaking into a prison to kill him. It will be. I wonder if he uses a KX series droid to get out. I doubt that. You don't think? Yeah, I, I do. I don't think that. I don't know. He could. No. They're security droids. They're probably, no. They probably are at prisons. I don't think... No, I don't think so. Why not? I don't think he's going to... How's he going to do it in prison? He like, has to reprogram. He has to reprogram the whole thing. Yeah, he's going to do that in prison? Yeah. He's Andy gonna do Dufresne. A, he's gonna, gonna, Andy he's Dufresne. gonna do a sequel injection. Crawled through a river. <laughs> that is not related to a droid being. What I'm hacked. saying is that he did a little bit of stuff every night. That's Cassie not how technology works. You can't like slowly hack a sure thing, really, right? I think so. Like, One, it's I mean, Star Wars. Fuck if, you. Who if cares? he starts it and something's wrong, what and he doesn't get it done, he's like, I'll get it next day. Someone's gonna catch that eventually. What about people who reprogram Zelda? And they have to like shut it down and reboot it and then do more commands and shut it down and reboot it. That's to the machine, that's sure. day after day. Sure, mm -hmm. I think that's fine. But like, if you have a droid who's also working with Imperials and doing Imperial things, and it, it acts weird a time or two, they're gonna be like, Go, we're gonna take you an inspection and they're gonna either scrap it, fix it, or something. You gotta get it done fairly quick, right? I mean, that's not. That's just assuming that there is going to be an immediate change after one small <laughs> change. Right? Well, like I, a visible, noticeable. Yeah, change, right? I just, I assume, I guess, like it's gonna have to be like over a course. Like I don't know, how hard is it to hack him? 
To be fair, and K2SO hacked another KS droid in Rogue One in like seconds. He's like, there are 33 troopers between here and there. Well, yeah, but he <laughs> yeah. like, they went and they covered just, and they yeah. just shoved it in his head. And Cassie, he's like, he's he can't do one that. Of those things. And this BD thing just, hacks him. Like, what are you going to do with this? They're like, let me hack you while you're choking me. <laughs> BD hacks but, him all the time. What I think might happen is we might get like a Jen Urso type of thing, right? Yeah. Maybe he's out being like labored, right? And then they like catch him, open it, get him out of there because they don't want him to talk about Luthen. Yeah. Like if Luthen finds out he's in jail, like prison or whatever, he may try to orchestrate a let's get him out of there. Kind of like uh, how they stole all the money, right? Get out or nope. kill in prison? No, get him out. Prison break. Yeah, get him out. Because he could just do a Walter White. No. Dun, 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 dun. No, that's not dun, possible dun, because he's dun, alive dun, later. Dun, dun. I'm saying you could try. We don't know if Luthen's alive later. But how does he get out? We, you're right. We don't know if Luthen's alive. But I don't failed think. prison break or failed prison assassination. Can anyone grant like amnesty? Anyone? Not like can anybody do it? I'm asking, can anyone do it? Oh, you know what I mean. Can someone do it? Not like yeah, sure. anybody's capable, but is there a person who is? Like, like can a senator do it? Like, like we have governors. Governors right? of a state can pardon someone. And they have governors right? of a planet. But like, they have yeah. Because yeah, I can't think of anybody that would do that for Cassian. Yeah. Well, like, if, could Mon Mothma do that? That would be so risky. Yeah. But sure. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just wondering. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Maybe. Unless it's like, uh, this is the overreach of the empire. Sure. I'm this going to make this. This display of setting this thing right. Look at this tourist who yeah. was given six years and did nothing. I'm way, yeah, it's way more likely that he's going to be reprogramming a KX droid behind a poster of a hot chick on the south. <laughs> <Behind> the- <laughs> Let's uh, check out some Q&As. Son of Dark Helmet mm. says, I can't believe they missed this opportunity. It shouldn't be the public order resentencing directive, but instead... The public order resentencing guidelines, right, Aaron? Yeah. No. Hashtag support the Porg army. Hashtag Porg. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Is it? Yeah, I, I like it. And because it took me a second, I was like, "What the fuck is this person talking about?" Oh. <laughs> I started writing down the letters. Like, <laughs> uh, Grant Smith says, "Do you think it was really on Luthen's orders that Vel killed kills Andor?" Not saying that his assistant has ill intentions, but maybe she's trying to tie up this loose end because Luthen mentioned last episode he wasn't careful enough with Cassian. Mm. I wasn't careful enough with Andor. So maybe. Uh, I don't know. That could be her maybe going too far. I don't know. I like to think that she doesn't do much without him saying it, Just, but I don't want to rob her of agency either. So yeah. I, don't know. I would good, say that it's, it's, cool idea. it's probably him, though. Mm-hmm. Is it okay that she's listening on comms? Like, is she supposed to be? You know? I think so. But maybe not. I don't know. <clears throat> I th- it, it was kind of weird that she was listening in on comms, wasn't it? Yeah. I figured that he would just come in and say, hey, this is what happened. Sure. Or she would just stay in the room. And That's help interesting. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Logan Britton says, do you think the new arc will be a prison break? Because I'd love to see a prison break in this show, and some time with Cassian in prison planning his escape could help bridge the five-year gap we need to fill since we've barely covered any time so far. He could you be think in prison it's for be, a while. I think you could have... Years? Yeah, maybe the next two episodes go over a couple years of him being in prison. It would be cool to meet like some characters in there, too, like uh, like from Rogue One, like Melshi and some of the other like just kind of background rebels that don't get a whole lot of sure. screen time. Let him be in prison for a little bit, and then have like the last few episodes be like the prison break Maybe arc. Yeah. You know, what I mean, kind of like how we set up the heist. Mm, sure. Maybe you have him like you see him in prison and what Mon Mothma and Luthen and them are doing. Otherwise, they discover where he is, and then we do that. But you need to. I don't know how Cyril falls into it. You know. Yeah. My only thought is that he discovers that he is in prison because he recognizes his face. Maybe. But then Luthen needs to get to him. Before yep. they realize that he's there, you know? Yep. Uh, Perry Van Wessel says, Do you think that Marva was telling the truth about Kanari? She says that everybody on Kanari was killed. There were no survivors. I mean, she probably. They rescued after, him because they said, like, they're going to come and kill everyone. Yeah. Like, probably after that ship crashed and, and whoever, the Republic or the Empire, whoever mm-hmm. showed up again, like, they probably did, like, 
try to find any sign of who yeah. did this, who was responsible. And wasn't easiest it, to just kill everybody. Wasn't when they it leave. the Republic that was showing up? Here, let me open this. I'm really not happy that it's there, like Republic. One of our mods I thought there was an Imperial like cog or something like that on. Well, I think on it takes place pad, during like there? the. Uh, well, I think it was like a pre, uh, like a early Separatist type of thing, on was him. It? And I think it was like the Republic was showing up, and this is like either during or like early Clone Wars time. Yeah, uh, one of our mods on Discord uh, actually sent us this, uh, Nexus. The the flashbacks in that episode occur during the later years of the Republic, prior to the start of the Clone so Wars. before Clone Wars. With Marva and Clem worrying about an incoming Republic frigate interpreting their salvage operation. The dead crewers aboard the transport, Cosair, wear uniforms with a symbol closely related to eventual Separatist alliance. So travel to Canary will later be restricted by the Empire due to this environmental disaster. So that symbol is Separatist, but not quite yet Separatist. It's kind of like how the Republic symbol isn't quite, but will be the Empire symbol in a way, right? Sure. And even the Jedi symbol kind of mm -hmm. resembles the Rebellion yeah. symbol a little bit. Yeah. And we did have uh, uh, the assistant, which I can't remember her name right now. Uh, she like looked at a symbol as well when she was trying to find Vel. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was like a almost complete circle with like a line in it. When with uh, Sean Morton, who says, what have you guys thought of the score for this series? I love how the composer, Nicholas Bertel, has made something very Star Wars, but unique in that it doesn't use similar motifs. Definitely giving off a spy feel. I definitely like the, especially like the beach and like the ending sounds and stuff like yeah. that too that have like, it's Star Wars-ish, but it's like a different genre in the universe that we haven't yeah. heard. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like music that you would hear in Star Wars, right? Because what was uh, uh, Cal listening to? Was those one guy's. Yeah, right? Like that's not very Star Wars-y typically, but that's the music in the universe. Diegetic, really cool. is that what it's called? Like when music is in the actual thing that you're listening, you're, you're watching. I don't know. I think it's called that. Like the cantina music, I thought it's called diegetic music. Like that's what the characters are hearing too. Maybe. Yeah. But I just like because like I don't imagine that they hear. Bum, 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 of course, you not. know, like that kind of stuff. Yeah. But I like hearing like some of the music that feels like this could be in yeah. the universe. But then there's other stuff that is much more tame and you're a little right. bit more James Bond, Jason Bourne, like spy-ish and I do like that stuff too because yeah. it should have a different feel. What it, about it the uh, the medal ceremony? Do they hear that? Uh, Otherwise, no. without that it, that whole <laughs> hall being quiet is real awkward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I get you. Uh, I think the music is perfect and here's why. There are no Knights in shining armor with da 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 da. There are no evil dark lords right now. Like this is ground level. These are the real people living real lives and struggling. So the music needs to be like that. The even the production, the the way things look, they look different than, you know, the Obi Wan series or even Book of Boba Fett, even Mandalorian. Because sure. Mandalorian's a wet. This is a spy thriller on the ground how everyday people so the music needs to reflect that right mm -hmm. like you can have motifs and, and then do the same thing if you wanted to but I am perfectly happy with everything here I think that sure it's it's I, artists making different choices for different tones for different feelings sure. a lot of people feel like this doesn't feel like Star Wars I think that's ridiculous but I, I just think that some people have problems looking at Star Wars in a different light sure like that's it, it's kind of like Marvel where like different movies are kind of hitting different genres yeah. like this like we're hitting different characters I don't want to sure. hear Leia's theme when Mon Mothma walks in or no. something like that you know like she should have her own sound and it can yeah. be very different from like yep. what other stuff would be but at the same time like Andor flying out I don't necessarily need to hear like ba 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 like sure. give him exactly. some give it something different have a yeah. different feel because this isn't the exact same Star Wars it's just adding to what we already mm -hmm. know and why not add to the music as well I agree we need a poll. All right, guys, our poll is going to be about a theory I have. Do you think that Andor will utilize a KX series security uh, droid in his escape from whatever prison he's going to be sent to? I think it's a good theory that they want me to think. They want you to think that? Yeah, they added a KX in here, you know? That, thing, that showed up, and Calvin was like, it's K2! I'm like, no, it is him, look! And he walks up carrying more people, and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think that's how we get him. You I don't think, I don't think we get him from prison. Gotcha. Hmm. What do you think, Calvin? I do. <gasps> he does! 
That's two. That two that to one. Is, yeah, you're right. Go to patreon.com slash blindwave where you can see how the score finishes. Yeah. Will the ratio stay the same? 69%? What? That's about, that was about the right ratio. Yeah, just yeah. make sure it's in my favorite one. Yeah. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, reaction to Andor. Don't forget, Thursday, tomorrow, from when this is releasing, we are going to be having Badonkadon talking about High Republic, 20. talking about Star Wars, talking about Jedis, all kinds of stuff. Come join us. Uh, add in some questions. Maybe we will answer your questions on Badonkagon. It's 10-20-20. <gasps> yes, on the 20th Thursday. Bye.